Sonic's Channel. Look, it's my name. Hey, check me out. Hey fans, Michael the Human here, and today we have a very, very special guest with us. We have Mike Pollock, the official voice of Eggman in this game, joining us for the final part of the playthrough. How are you doing? So far, so good, but the night is young. <laughs> Unless you're watching this in the morning, in which case, the day is young. <laughs> but yeah, you did a pretty good job in this game. I really enjoyed your role as two different Eggmans talking over each other at the same time. That was pretty good. Thank you. It was an honor to be invited to come back and do what I could do. Huh. So, what were your favorite lines to do in this game? Um, I enjoyed the uh, the talking back and forth uh, with the two Eggmans, even though it was not done quite in real time. It was uh, finished in post-production. But uh, my years of talking to myself have apparently paid off. <laughs> and uh, some of the other dialogue just in between was fun. Just the uh, general mocking of Sonic and that sort of thing. Always fun. So you didn't record yourself talking twice at the same time? <laughs> no, it was. Uh, we decided it would be slightly easier to do all of one and then all <laughs> of the other, and then they seamlessly stitch it together. <laughs> yeah, I, I was very curious as to if the other, the classic Eggman, was going to have a different voice at all. When I was first seeing like screenshots of the game when uh, they first showed classic Eggman. Well, I was uh, told to make them uh, have no discernible difference. So there are people who say he sounds different, and in which case, I guess I wasn't doing it right. But <laughs> okay, you know, they, was, they don't know what they're talking about. The, <laughs> yeah, it was basically the same guy, just separated by uh, a lar rather large period of time. But um, same guy, same boy. <laughs> hey, Look, it's my name. name! Hey, check me out! And those other people, too, they're nice, too. But <laughs> look, it's me! <laughs> So what's it like to work with those, uh, like, have you met them personally, like Roger Craig Smith and the other voice actors? The only one I've met is Suzanne Goldish, whose name is uh, flashing by right now as one of the engineers. Uh, Suzanne Goldish, uh, footnote uh, to Sonic History, was the voice of Chris in Sonic X. Oh, so wow. So I knew her fairly well, because uh, she was not only the voice of Chris, but uh, she engineered uh, some of the Sonic X recordings as well. Uh, the only other person related to the new cast of Sonic that I have met was Kyle A. Bear, who I met at a, uh, one of the anime conventions before we were both working on Sonic together. So we had nothing in common at the time. Okay, so you haven't met Roger or Craig Smith or any of the other people? Or Roger and I are Facebook friends, but we don't talk <laughs> pretty much ever. Hi, Roger, if you're watching. <laughs> but no... Because they're all on the West Coast, I'm on the East Coast, and oh, okay. seldom the twain shall meet. So the main people you've met are the four kids uh, cast, right? Yeah, all my New York friends. Okay. And yes, that Susie, makes sense. Yeah, Susie moved out West and is working in Studiopolis, where they recorded the West Coast people, and where they recorded me digitally on a fancy high-tech ISDN line. So it was really cool hearing Susie on the other end. Susie, hey, how you doing? Hey. That was cool. Okay, so... What are, what are some of your favorite lines that you've ever recorded, other than Sonic Generations? Um, I enjoyed the uh, PA announcements in Sonic Colors. Uh, I most enjoyed my little ad lib that uh, was mostly for the LA-based production staff and ended up on the cutting room floor. But uh, I did the, um, the uh, uh, LAX uh, terminal announcements. Mm -hmm. The white zone is for immediate loading and unloading of passengers only. Uh, but uh, they laughed at it and didn't use it in the game. That's fine. <laughs> Not even as an out there, but that's it. Were there any other lines that you recorded that weren't used? Um, no, that was pretty much the only... The, we didn't have a lot of time for ad-libbing, and I wasn't really invited to ad-lib very much, but I said, just humor me for this one line, and they did, and that was fine. Yeah, I did. I really did enjoy your voice acting, though, in Sonic Colors, all of those uh, announcement that, announcements that you did. It's just a shame that the volume on it was so low. You can barely hear it when you're actually playing the game. Yeah, it was released, uh, apparently the bootleg, uh, the solo track of, of uh, just uh, me doing those lines was released on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Oh, probably unofficially. So I enjoyed getting to hear them again with a little production behind them. This ride is uh, not for small children or big babies. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, those lines were awesome. I was laughing so much when I was listening to those. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was enjoying reading them uh, both the ones that I had a chance to read beforehand, but mostly as I was reading them as I went. And I remember there were a couple times I just listened to, hey, hey, that's funny. <laughs> so, uh, 
So, um... So, do you know anything about how, um... The voice acting worked in Sonic Riders? How... How, um, half of the voice clips of Eggman were your voice and also the previous voice actor. Do you know anything about that? No, I but. just showed up and they uh, had me read what they wanted me to read and I left the room. And what they did with it was up to them. Either they realized they needed more dialogue and I wasn't around to do it because I had already <laughs> left the studio. Or they had some mysterious secret plot in mind and that's, that's how they chose to execute it. Don't know. <laughs> My guess is that it was a tribute to the original voice actor since he ended up passing away recently when that game came out. That's my guess. Yeah. Maybe That's it was possible. some kind of tribute. They didn't mention, I didn't ask. I don't know. <laughs> if you find out, let me know. And yeah, maybe sometime in the future, maybe they'll tell us. I have no idea. I would Functionality like to Supervisor. That. That's I want that to be my new title. Functionality Supervisor. <laughs> is it functioning? Great, I'll supervise it. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, all these names scrolling by are people I never met. But hi, how are you? Good to see you. <laughs> Have you met anybody from Sega Germany? Uh, no, but uh, I'm sure if we were ever to uh, cross paths, if I happen to be traveling through Germany, it would be lovely to see you. So, do you know Spanish at all? Like, who does the... Do you know who does the Spanish voice for Eggman? Like, are there yeah. different voice actors for the different versions? Yeah, there are people uh, in every country, people just like me, who dub things just as I dub stuff um, from many languages into English without having to know any other languages. Um, there are people who do the same thing in, uh, in every other country. Uh, I was just watching one of my daughter's current favorite shows is Lazy Town, which is... Uh, a delightfully annoying little children's program which is produced um, <laughs> up in Iceland and it's dubbed for dozens of other countries and mm -hmm. if you're really bored and you look on YouTube you can find all the other versions so I was we spent uh, about an hour watching them perform the same song in different languages and interesting to see how some of the voices sound much like the English people and some of them don't so isn't that interesting <laughs> but, oh yeah, yeah I noticed the Spanish voice actor of Eggman sounded a lot like you actually yeah, so I guess they're going for that, and that's cool. But I'm sure he speaks Spanish. My my Spanish ended after about three years in in uh, high school, and probably his is better. Donde está el? That's as bad as far as we get. <laughs> Donde está el champú? <laughs> All right then. So, what other characters did you voice in the Sonic series? Uh, I was uh, most notably uh, Ella the maid in Sonic X. Oh wow! Uh, I was also yeah. Um, I was also uh, Eggman Nega. Uh, I was uh, uh, Professor Gerald Robotnik. Um, and probably some incidental characters in the cartoon that I don't recall anymore. But those were the uh, name characters that I recall. Mm -hmm. Oh, and we have two Eggmen, which is basically two Mike Pollocks, and we have another Mike Pollock live with us. And also another mic hosting, so we have four mics right now. My brain hurt. <laughs> I like this yes, cutscene right here. Yes, it's much more impressive once it's cut together uh, into uh, a seamless dialogue, because otherwise it was about half an hour of... Is that how you want that line? What do you want, different? I'll do it differently. <laughs> so what's it like listening back at this, like seeing how major this game is and stuff? What's it like just looking at these cutscenes and stuff and hearing your voice in it. It's always cool. I, I never get tired of seeing my finished stuff or hearing my finished stuff if I'm doing a radio commercial, wandering through a store and hearing myself coming over the store PA system, which has happened a couple times. And I can point out to whoever happens to be standing nearby, hey, that's me. Um, mm -hmm. It never gets old. Um, and I always like to see, because recording the game, you don't get as much of the sense of the game Occasionally, I would see an animatic, just a very rough animation of what something's going to look at. Mm -hmm. Or uh, when Eggman's look changed drastically, they gave me a quick preview. But usually, if I see any of the finished stuff at all, I tend not to play the games myself because I'm a little old for uh, the demographic, the target demographic of the games. Seeing the little clips on YouTube or seeing other people play them is as close as I get. And that's actually plenty close for me. I, I don't have the patience or the coordination to actually sit and play the game, but it's fine to watch someone else play the game. In fact, I'd rather watch someone else who's really good at the game play the game. <laughs> me would just be, 
I, 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 in two minutes, I can't do this anymore. Stop it. <laughs> Who wrote this? <laughs> so basically, you should go back and watch the entire playthrough once. Yeah, by the time this is up, all the other parts will be up, so you should go ahead and check it out if you want to see if it, someone good if it would, <laughs> If it would hold my attention that long. <laughs> All right, well, that's about it for the entire Sonic Generations playthrough. Thank you, everybody, for watching, and thank you very much, Mike, for joining us. Is there anything else you'd like to say? Uh, thanks for playing. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more about me, there's a website just for that. It's a Mike.com. All about me and more. All right, thank you very much again. This is Michael the Human. See you guys next time. Bye-bye. What made you decide to pursue a career in voice acting? Well, I started in radio and I loved radio as a child. And once I got into radio back in the mid 80s as a disc jockey, if you want to call it that, um, I realized that what I really enjoyed was making commercials and doing wacky characters and wacky voices.